Introduction to Night Fall, Entering the Universal Underworld. From July the 13th to July the 30th, we enter into Night Fall of the Universal Underworld with a focus on the 12th ray of One Unity Consciousness, accelerated through the full moon on July the 15th. This beautiful golden flame is the energy that would embrace Mother Earth and all her life from 2012 from a ray perspective. And through the next 18 days in particular, we have the opportunity to truly experience the essence of our God selves, our I am presence, as we integrate and transcend the dualities within ourselves and lift the vibration of all life on this earth plane into Christ consciousness while bringing together the perfect balance of our own divine masculine and feminine archetypes of light. When we talk about Christ consciousness, we are referring to the state of divine perfection, illuminating intelligence, wisdom, love, peace, empowerment, abundance, creativity and harmony that is inherently the birthright of every soul in creation. And in this now, providing us with a window of opportunity to embrace our shadow aspects and that of the world through healing, love and unity consciousness as we continue to anchor the new etheric recordings of the 12 strand DNA further amplified through the crystalline city of light above Palenque in Mexico. As we work through the unity grid of light and the holographic crystalline matrix of light, we continue to anchor the 111111 planetary crystalline vibration of divine love, the crystalline 144 unity grid to be activated on November the 11th, 2011. At that moment, the crystalline cities of light will amplify the energy of the sacred sites, vortices and portals of light through the rays, the Atlantean master crystals and crystal skulls. And we will collectively activate the new etheric recordings of the 12 strand DNA as we merge at a deeper level with our I am presence while the solar grid of light is further activated within and around the unity grid of light. Through night four, we further enter into Lord Melchizedek's golden chamber ascension seat within the Middle Earth, overlighted by the Melchizedek Brotherhood of the Light, to receive the streams of consciousness of merging timelines taking us into the remembrance of the teachings of light from on high, primarily Atlantis and ancient Egypt, and the understanding too of our immortal nature. On a planetary level, we are invited to work with nature intelligence, the overlighting diva of healing, Pan, the overlighting diva of Mother Earth, as well as the entire company of heaven, as we assist in the healing of Mother Earth's energy body created through human miscreations in preparation for heaven on Earth. Invocation to night four of the universal underworld. I call upon the overlighting of Mother Father God and all the beings of light from on high that I personally acknowledge as I now merge with my I am presence, expanding my I am avatar blueprint of light in this alignment to my highest light. I call upon the archangels and angels, the mighty Elohim, the ascended masters, Malkior, Lord Melchizedek, Lord Metatron, and the Brotherhood of the Light. Helios and Vesta, Lord Buddha, the Pleiadians, Syrians, 
Andromedans and Arcturians, and all the beings of light from on high, assisting through the crystalline cities of light, Shambhala and multi-dimensionally in the creation of unity consciousness for the new earth. And I call in the overlighting diva of healing, Pan, the overlighting diva of Mother Earth, and all other nature intelligence and nature spirit intelligence that wish to assist in the healing and recalibration of Mother Earth's energy body. And our hours to be taken in an external macabre vehicle of light into the crystalline city of light above Palenque so I may experience the twelfth ray of one unity consciousness. And I enter into the city of light greeted by three high priests and find myself within a sacred golden flower of life, sphere of light. I now call forth to all the beings of light from on high to actualize the twelfth ray of one unity consciousness in a beautiful golden flame within and around my body so I may experience union with the divine. So I may find the perfect balance of the divine feminine and masculine within myself. So I may transmute my dualities and experience oneness with all life. So I may assist as a Christ consciousness being of light in lifting the vibration of all life into that of unity consciousness. And I'll find myself in Lord Melchizedek's golden chamber ascension seat, overlighted by the Melchizedek by the hood of the light. And I experience the merging timeline of Atlantis and ancient Egypt in particular, bringing through the remembrance of my self-mastery as initiate of light through the teachings of light from on high. And I experience the activation of my immortal chromosomes as the subatomic particles within my body spin an increased light. And I experience my physical body as a body of light, as my I am avatar blueprint of light. And I find myself on the unity grid of light, assisting the company of heaven, light workers, star seeded ones, and nature intelligence in wrapping this golden flame of unity consciousness within and around this earth plane. I now assist in the healing of Mother Earth's energy body, experiencing, sensing, and merging into oneness. And now assist in taking this golden flame of unity consciousness into the hearts of all humanity so they too may choose these key codes of divine love and one unity consciousness. I now assist in anchoring the new etheric recordings of the 12 strand DNA through the Christ consciousness grid of light 
so that all life may experience their multidimensionality as master beings of divine love through the cosmic heart of Mother Father God. I am a Christ conscious being of light. I am wisdom, devotion, and illuminating intelligence. I am love, power, harmony, and peace. I am equilibrium, creativity, and inspiration. I am magnetism and enlightenment. I am one with all life. I am all that I am. 